not losing. This is part of the process. Uh, don't. I know that people feel guilty about utilizing a crutch. Please don't. I used a crutch for the first seven months every single time and to the max <laughs> and lost 50 pounds. I did not exercise. I did not diet. And I used my full crutch for seven months, you guys. Right? Like, I, I want you guys to understand that for a full day fast, a crutch is totally fine to use. Now, you can improve upon that, but if it helps you get through your fast, use it. If you feel like you can start minimizing it, awesome. Um, that's, that's the goal with this. I did share at the beginning of this video some tips. I'm going to recap it really quickly, but some, some tips for me that has helped waiting until the 20 hour mark before utilizing a crutch um, because it's a slippery slope when you start eating earlier in the day. Um, minimizing a crutch week to week by like 50 calories. So if it's 500 this week, focus on 450 next week, 400 the week after, make it over time. Don't try to go from like zero to, or like 500 to zero overnight. Um, and the third one, and the one that's actually worked the best for me, and I still use it and still do the strategy, is I separated the crutch into a food crutch and a creamer crutch. So I no longer utilize a food crutch. I do use a creamer crutch. And I actually brought my the creamer that I use, um, for anybody that's curious. I use a sugar-free French vanilla creamer from Coffee Mate. It's 15 calories for one teaspoon, and I typically put in two teaspoons in my coffee. So 30 calories for a cup of coffee. Um, nowadays I'll have one or two cups, so max 60 calories, but that's all the crutch that I have in my fasting window. And I see wonderful weight loss um, still utilizing the crutch. For me, it's kind of a men like the mental shift made a big difference. Of like no food, but coffee with creamer is okay. So that has worked well for me.